This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Rabbit Hole Distillery and their one-of-a-kind Kentucky bourbon and rye whiskeys. We drink this stuff on the episode with the boys. I poured them a little bit too much, maybe. But, you know, they had fun. Uh, Rabbit Hole is incredible. Uh, my favorite so far is their signature blend, this Cave Hill, this Kentucky Stripe bourbon, baby. This stuff is really good. It's that four-grain triple malt bourbon. I do love this stuff. Uh, my favorite stuff about Rabbit Hill, to be honest with you, the reason I think I partnered up with these guys, um, they do it uh, the, the real, the right way. You know, everyone talks about toasted and charred barrels and all that stuff. Every single one of these releases, uh, every single one is aged in, in, in both charred and toasted barrels. Uh, at a low entry and never chill filtered ever ever just as it should be it's a beautiful bottle it's great to hold on to it's got a little rabbit bouncing off the walls on that they have the derringer that's finished in sherry cast the high gold that's their kentucky uh, straight bourbon as well but that high gold over there it's a double double malt it's the the high gold is the high rye double malt bourbon and then of course the boxer grail is their uh, sour mash rye uh, but I like the OG stuff right here. I think Caveville is probably one of my favorites. Um, but the bottle's great. Uh, it tastes delicious. It's really smooth. Uh, and I'm a big, big fan of these guys over at Rabbit Hole. Go get yourself some drink responsibly, okay? But go to rabbitholedistillery.com slash drizzly. Uh, rabbitholedistillery.com slash drizzly. Use the promo code rabbit for $5 off your first order. Uh, pick yourself up some Rabbit Hole uh, near you or do it online. Use that code RABBIT for $5 off your first order at rabbitholedistillery.com slash drizzly. What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. If it's your first time joining the show, welcome to the show. Like it, subscribe it, hit that notification bell so you know when we post, but you know when we post. We post every Friday. We haven't missed. I want to thank uh, all of you for uh, subbing to the show and spreading it around, telling people about the Whisk Ginger word. It means a lot to me. I really do appreciate you guys very, very much. Uh, my guests plural this week are chad and jt what up dude they have an incredible show right now out on netflix you got to go watch it they go deep that's what the show is called they're very funny dudes uh love this this episode got weird and wacky and wild and all over the place man did i enjoy my time uh speaking of enjoying my time i'm on the road getting ready to enjoy my time filming my special september 24th in denver you guys come out salt lake city brea california that's my last time doing an hour in southern california for a long time uh salt lake brea uh, Minneapolis, Madison, Wisconsin, and then I end it at Denver, September 24th. So go to andrewsantino.com for the tickets, andrewsantino.com for those tickets. Also, Andrew Santino, go to the store and you get yourself a Gisato shirt. This is a from a Gisato, some of the most quality shirt that you have seen. The Gisato shirts are made, uh, come for the pizza, stay for the sauce is what it says. And uh, shout out, dude, such a funny shirt. Shout out, represent for making these dope shirts. So... Uh, andrewsantino.com. Come buy them tickets. Come see me because uh, I'm done for a while. Enough rambling. Let's go to the episode. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today, and I included you as one guest. It's Chad and Thank JT. You. Shout out. What up? What dude, up, what legends? Up. Boom clap. Dude, you have too many drinks. First of all, let's start with this. I got yeah. you a nitro brew. Uh, you have a big bottle of water. You have a Corona, and you want some whiskey. I'd love some. Okay, what kind of whiskey do you want? You've got, you have sherry cast bourbon. You've got regular Kentucky straight. You got rye. What do you guys want? I think Daddy's got to go straight. Daddy wants it straight. Do you want some? You want this one? That's Kentucky straight bourbon. This is the one you want. Yeah. We're we're gonna go with the Cave Hill. So, and you guys wanted it on the rocks. You mm -hmm. say when? Just say when. When? Oh, All right. When we'll <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Now let me see. Pass yours over to me. Oh, mommy wants to go rye. <laughs> you want? To, you mommy wants the rye. Yeah. So daddy gets that, and then mommy gets some of the rye. Mommy wants rye. And then again, you got to tell me. You got to tell me. Just say when. Take it to the brim, baby. Take it to the brim, dude. Fill it all the oh, way up. No. So I never drink this, so I'll literally be making a face every you don't time need I to, sip And it. honestly, just have as much as appropriate for you. I want to get kind of sloshed. I haven't drank in a couple days. Dude, nice. Well, you don't yeah. need to, uh, yeah, sip some of that top. That's an, it's such an absurd amount, and that's for me. I've been drinking probably three months. Cheers to you guys, dude. We're having some rabbit hole. Right. Cheers to you guys. Yeah, Whoa. it's so good, dude. <laughs> Dude, that's good shit. Very bro. good, right? Take a little sip. Should have spilled. Ooh. 
Yeah, put it right there next to the equipment. Where else would it go? Yeah, that's exactly right. Dude, that's All good. right, you guys, here's the deal. Chad and JT have a show out right now that's on Netflix. Mm-hmm. It's called? Chad and JT Go Deep. Okay, stretch for the title, but I like that. Chad and JT Go Deep, which yes, has kind sir. of been the coined phrase for you guys for a long time now. For right? sure. Yeah. Uh, the show is... What is it really? Tell me what it is. Is it like kind of like a white supremacist show or something or exactly. it's a QAnon based show? There's a small percentage of that, but we're like, you know, a little, we're doing more of a commentary on it rather than fully endorsing it. Got it. Right. Yeah. But, now, but that's not the show. That's not the show at all. Well, it's like, it's <laughs> QAnon based with pranks. Oh, Q pranks. Yeah. But like we're sort of funded by Q. Oh, tight. Yeah. But then in the end, it's really a story about friendship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like breaking away from Q and finding each other. Beautiful. But we Trojan horse it with the Q. Yeah. yeah. That is cool, man. He's a well, good guy. watch it on Netflix. It's out right now. <laughs> it's called Chad and JT Q, Q Pranks. You got to check it out. You're going to love it to death. I love that you wore a wrinkly shirt. I said that when you walked in. I didn't want you to wear anything appropriate. Yeah, uh, well, it to fits be me on good. Camera. Though. What's that? It fits me good and it contrasts nicely with my tan. I did compliment your tan. Thank you. You do yeah. have a crazy good tan. I've been in the sun a lot. And the UV index has been like through the roof lately. It's been really dangerous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you put sunscreen on ever? No, never. Good. That's Smart. good. Smart. Yeah, you don't ever want to do that. Protection is absurd. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Better believe it, dude. Yeah, and you have worker boots on. Yeah, they make me taller. Is that really the only reason? No, and they look cool. They do look kind of cool. And lately I've been wearing them with shorts. I'm trying to like make a new look out of it. Mm-hmm. But my dad said it looks stupid. Was your dad still around in your life? Yeah, yeah, we're close. How old are you? I'm 34. And your dad tells you about fashion stuff still? He just said, hey, you look dumb with those shorts and shoes on. But then I went back at him and I was like, I think it looks cool. And he said, maybe it looks cool. What does he real- wear? Um, how does my dad dress? He wears well, like a... First off, he makes boots, right? Yeah, my dad... He, he yeah. makes boots. Oh, so he kind of has a good... He knows what he's talking about then. He does know, yeah, he's got a good sense of style. He kind of, he's from Jersey, kind of dresses like a Jersey guy. Like he's got like a gold chain and, but it's more subtle than like. Do an impression of your dad right now. JT, why are you wearing that? You look stupid. Uh, You know what? I don't even know him, but I feel like I do. Now that you just, that was so good. Was it good? Yeah. Say like, hey, I'm going to be late for work. Somebody pick up my briefcase. JT, I'm I'm not done. Well, how much you want me to do here? Well, figure, just pay attention. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going to be late for work. Somebody grab my briefcase. It's in the kitchen but also make sure that the left latch is closed. If it's not closed, it's going to pop open and all my documents are going to fall out everywhere. And oh, call Nina. We need to change the reservation tonight from 7.30 to 9.45. You know I got that meeting late in the day. I can relay that to you if you need. Yeah, if anything, I'll I'll call for line if, if if I get stumped. What's your dad's name? Tommy. All right, and Tommy. JT, I left my briefcase in the kitchen. I'm going to be late for work. Can you go grab it and make sure that the left latch on the door is locked? Because if it's not, the door is going to blow open. Wind's going to go everywhere. My documents are going to be lost. And also reach out to Nina and let her know that I'm going to be late. For? The meeting. Because you have to eat. Chat? Lasagna. There it is. Was it really lasagna? <laughs> no. It was dinner at 930, 945. <laughs> that was really good, though. Yeah, that was I, good. Yeah. That was more than that I was, I was like, way more than I thought dude, you were going to I thought you were going to get, gonna get like a sentence. That Yo, was way more than I thought. I'm a max awesome. effort player, dude. I'm here to go. <laughs> I'm one hundo, dude. And what's your dad's name? Bob. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, I, all my siblings, you know, Bob, Bill, Mark, Bridget and Noel are kind of a little bit more. Noel is, f- yeah, that's no, she got, got fun funkier one. with the Yeah, but names. with the dudes, it was just, you know, we... Like, yeah, just uh, very simple, straightforward Simple, names. straightforward. Kind yeah. of, that should have been the name of this special. Chad JT, simple, straightforward. That's not yeah, a bad name. Because yeah, like like you guys are very simple. Yes. Yeah. And straightforward. Always. Uh, yeah, I think and so. And straight guys or no? Are you guys, you, a lot of people ask me, they're big fans of you guys. Whenever somebody says, do you know Chad and JT? I go, yeah, those, are, those guys are awesome. Super funny. And they go, are they a couple? Dude, we've, oh. uh, we've ventured in. We've tried it. We've experimented. Mm-hmm. Um... But uh, as, as much as we'd love to be a couple, I just don't think it works. Yeah, we're just not like, what is it? What wouldn't work? I think the fact that he has a penis. That's a big no-no for you. Yeah, I mean, I've tried. Right. You know, I've, I've flicked the bell in, but. Yeah, we've had like playful, like, interactions. where Like we, jumping like, out of the shower and you yeah, guys are teasing each, each other. Dick, yeah, flicking each other's dick, like sticking a finger in the other guy's butt. Totally. Just like, but it's always, it's funny because like when you kiss your bro, 
Like you always laugh afterwards, but then after the laugh, there's a moment where you like think about what just happened and it kind of breaks your brain for a right. second. And I'm yeah. always trying to get past that break because I think that's a block that society's put in us. And he pushes it a little bit more. Like one time he's like, we got to try and kiss. And he, you, you, you're a little bit more kind of like, no, no, dude. <laughs> we tried this. Don't dude, this will go viral. This will oh, go fuck, viral, dude. dude. Oh, Whoa. Dude. You know what it is? You're a passionate dude. I'm the way you passionate. grabbed his face was so like <laughs> yeah. genuine. You did because you're not a bully when you make love. I you're, try not to be. No, you're kind of you seem like a very sweet, sensitive, nice guy. And if I turn it up, the other person knows that I can turn it down in a second if I get that note. Right. I mean, I did feel safe there. Right, because he grabbed your face. But yeah. you, meanwhile, you're such a calm, smooth dude. Right. You seem like you're a rabbit fucker. Like you just hold on and you just pound. Oh, big time. Yeah, you yeah. are, right? I'm, There's I'm no like passion the, there. Yeah, I'm like the energizer buddy. But with yeah, with my You just want to get it out. I just want to get it out. I want to come as quickly as possible, and then I want to go play Call of Duty. Efficiency. Sick. My yeah. dog's all about efficiency. Yeah. I get because it, dude. And you got to support each other, you know? 100. Yeah. You guys just have to continue to support each other in this in- endeavor. And, mm-hmm. I, and I, did, I, just, you know, I just didn't know you guys' stance on you know, relationships and sexuality. and So I didn't know what was going on. I'm straight, but not because I'm afraid of being gay. I've explored, and I'm just straight. You're just straight because it just didn't work out. Yeah, it is. I just... Maybe you got to try again, dude. I'm open to it. I'm, no, not again. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Did you like it more now? No, the dude. degree to which he hates it. Yeah, you I hate it. I know. So much, I like dude. how much you don't like it. Dude, that's... <laughs> it just makes me feel good to know that you hate it so much. It's the worst. Yeah, and dude, by the way, I'm let sorry, me know. Man. I didn't pressure you into any of that stuff. No. <laughs> that was you guys going for your thing. I've I mean, been waiting he, to do that for you, a while. <laughs> you, you, you coaxed him a little bit. You, I Look, dude. You, you guided it there. You got you to gotta spread a couple of crumbs there and see if he's going to eat, you yeah, know? Yeah. And he did. <laughs> and we want people to watch the show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I won't do anything. <laughs> for you. All right, look, this show is going to go through big waves during this time together of me uh, making jokes, but now I'll be serious, okay? Mm-hmm. For sure. You guys are both extremely funny, oh, thank super you. talented dudes. The stuff that you've done publicly that people do need to watch, if you have a chance and you're at home and you go on YouTube and watch these two dudes and what you guys are able to do at local government – Fucking with local government might be the funniest shit. Like when I saw, before I met you guys, I saw you do that shit and I was so impressed, man. You held your own. You guys never broke. You never got nervous. A lot of times in an improv situation, particularly if, you know, in the hidden camera world or in the prank or in the world of like, we're in on something and the audience is with us, people get nervous and then they kind of shit the bed and they bail. Mm. You guys are consistent. Every time you've done it, you've done a fucking great job. So oh, I'm gonna tell you, man, man. You guys kill it. And if the show has is anything like that, it's gonna be phenomenal. Oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. You know, actually, I remember when our house party thing went viral. Yeah, a buddy of ours, a comic, was like Santino watched it. Yeah, and like loved it. And that that actually, I was like on running at the time. I was like that meant a lot to me. Oh, because you guys I, are. Like, fu- it was you guys. I I was so impressed, man. Yeah. I was truly impressed. I was like, you guys are genuinely. The rhythm you guys have together is so good. <clears throat> And uh, honestly, it was it was incredible. So truly, watch the Netflix show, you guys, right now. How many episodes? Six. Six as well. Show me how yeah. you do six again. Six. Six. Oh no! Damn. Try try to do it the other way with five on that and one on that one. How many episodes? Whoa. It was a lot tougher, wasn't it? That was tough. It just depends on what side of your the hemisphere your brain is firing faster. Yeah, but I think I just like I didn't let myself flow. I think if we did it again, I would get it, but we'll never know. How many episodes? Six. Okay. That's interesting. How, well, how would you show me six with your hands? Six? Six. Yeah. See, I would do six if you want to look dope. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. That's the German three. Yep. Yeah, sure yeah. is. That's sick, dude. Yeah, this is sick. Is that a Chicago thing? It's a Euro thing, dude. I've got some Euro blood uh, flowing through me. I'm a little Euro trash, I just found out, for my DNA. I'm What'd like 14% out? pikey, I think. So Where's uh, pikey? What country is that? No, nah, pikey's just like a, I mean, we're nomads, dude. You know? Oh, that's uh, like Brad Pitt in Snatch. Correct, dude. Nice. Right. So you can throw right. a hand. You're like, thanks? Yeah, this pikey shit. And I'll get sued for saying that. But By the <laughs> pikey federation of yeah. protected speech? That's right. Or yeah. not protected? No, no, protected speech. Fuck yeah. Yeah, mm. those guys are out to get you, dude. Dude, they're, they're nuts. Nuts. Those guys those are nuts. coming after you. Six episodes. Are they half an hour? 22 minutes. Yeah. 22 minutes on a Netf- on Netflix with no commercials. Yeah. No. It's 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 short and sweet, but it's um 
it, it's it's sort of you know it's an adventure. It's like a six episode long adventure. I'd say it feels like when I mean, you go through it, kind of like a movie. It's like a movie, say. yeah. And yeah. we wanted to keep people hooked. We we didn't want to overstay our welcome and tire people out. So we were like, let's keep them short and sweet. That like Groucho Marx quote. Make it faster, make it funnier, and so we, we kind of went for that. Is that what mm-hmm. he said? He said that. Mm-hmm. I think so. Groucho Marx said, "Make it faster, make it funny." Yeah, or I Daft think Punk. So. They said it. Yeah, I feel yeah, like they probably Punk. said it. Yeah, yeah. Make it fast, make it funny. It's like you know the DJ Marshmallow, the guy that wears a marshmallow hat. Oh yeah, for sure. You've heard. You know what his famous quote is? What? We're here. Fuck, dude. <laughs> dude that's yeah. huge. Because that was sitting right in front of all of us, and like none of us grabbed it. I went to Vegas one time, and I saw this guy, and literally all he said, he goes, "We're here." And it was so lit. For you, five hours, we partied. People went nuts. All he had to say was, we're here. Dude. Steve, Lost our minds. Dude, Steve Aoki, I want his gig where he just throws cakes at people. Have you seen that? I got to be honest with you when I say this. I'm not into that Steve Aoki throwing cake stuff. As a guy, my mother uh, made cakes for my whole childhood. That was right. my mom's career. Right. And it's just disrespectful to the art, you know? Here my mom is like bleeding out making cake. And here this dude is... And he, it's like a bit to him. It's mm-hmm. not, a, you know, he like doesn't care at all about the artist, what went into the icing, the process, the fondant, all that stuff Whoa. means nothing to that guy. Dude, Dude, those levels of, of compassion are inspiring. Yeah, yeah because uh, also, you know, Steve Aoki and I have old beef. We got into a fight a couple years ago, so that doesn't help. Oh, for real? Yeah, we got into a street fight. Who won? Whoa. He did for, by a landslide. He beat the shit out of me. He fucking on sunset. You? Yeah, he fucked me up. And then I think the the insult to injury was he hit a, hit me with a fucking cake when it was over. Whoa! Yeah, I chipped my tooth and my front tooth. You can see it's chipped. Whoa! Yeah, I chipped my fucking tooth on one of his one of his jewelry, like piece of his jewelry. You didn't and, tap out though, did you? No, I'm not a bitch, dog. Fuck yeah. No, I went toe to toe with him for a long time, but then he started fucking working me. You wore your beating. Yeah, big Fuck time, yeah. dude. Good, yeah, dude. and I went to I did spots afterwards. I was bruised up, nicked up, bruised up bad, but I still needed to do stand up, so I went and did a spot that night. Cake all over my face. It was fucked up. He got lucky though. I tripped backwards onto Sunset Boulevard. I got, I got hit by a car, which is kind of fucked up. But yeah, Chevy, we had a two Chevy on two Bolt. fight with the chain smokers. We did, yeah. Wait for real? Mm-hmm. Who won? They did. They beat our ass. Yeah, they fucked, fucked us up good. Yeah. What's up with DJs being so strong, dude? They're all doing jujitsu in their off hours. That's definitely because they're just off. working at night. So during the day, they're just trying to fill that time constructively, and they're just like hitting the mats and rolling. What mm-hmm. DJ do you think you guys could beat up in a fight? It's mm-hmm. good cue. Oh, Moby? Um, yeah, I mean, he's vegan, but I think he's fierce. Yeah, he might be scrappy. Like, might, you know, he's 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 kind of like... Uh, Natalie Briggs? Natalie Briggs. I can okay. take her. I think maybe. What? You don't know who that is? No. She's, she, she's, she might be beatable. Dude, you know I think I'd take? Dead Mouse. And I'm looking at the camera for that one. Bro, be careful. Dude. And I thought for years, I thought it was Dead Mouse 5. Yeah. Why make the 5 an S? Just say, put an S there. You think that's the way I could start it if I go, what's up, Dead Mouth 5? And he's like, <laughs> well, don't say that. Or should I throw a kick at his you, mouse mask? Then. Yeah. Then you start a real war. He's like, bro, my vents. I can't even, sh- I can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> your vents. <laughs> All right, tell me right now, the, your best of your memory and ability, what's in your bedside table right now, right next to your bed? What's right there? Don't even think about it. What's on it right now? Condoms. Oh, what's on it? Yeah. Uh, a lamp. Just it, just a lamp. Yeah. That's, That's sick it. Wear condoms, dude, dude. Lamp and condoms. Lamp and condoms. What about you? I have an iPhone charger and I have a lock of Chad's hair. Oh, dude, he does. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so sweet. Thank you. Do you say anything to it or kiss it before you go to Like, what's the deal with it? No, but whenever I look at it, I smile. You go, look at that, Chad's hair. Mm-hmm. That's tight. Do you know you don't have condoms? I do. I have a lot of condoms. What are we talking? I don't know why I said a lot like I was bragging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a brag if you have so many. It means you're not using them. Chad's running through those things like crazy. Oh, big time. You're a condom guy. Dude, I do the hot and colds. What is that? Oh, that makes your penis go cold? Yeah. No, well, have those condoms yeah. that are like, they're like a temperature to them. Yeah. The, well, it, it, it's like it icy goes, hot on your dick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, I ran out and I put icy hot on my dick and that does not work the same. I don't, I would not recommend that. For the yeah. kids at home, don't do that. Don't put icy hot on your penis because the condom one is probably scientifically engineered to be okay to put on your penis. Trojan knows what they're doing with the temperature gauge. Trojan um, is legit. Yeah. So the icy hot, so it gets, does it get hot first and then cold? It gets, uh, yeah, it gets hot at first to like fit on there and then it gets cold to sort of shrink it up. The and heat makes it expand so it can fit over that big tube you got. Right. Right. And then it gets real tight. <laughs> yeah, because then I stretch it out too much with my, you know, pretty formidable cock. You got a nice cock. Um, 
Who's yeah. more beefy out of you two boys? Well, it's funny. We're actually champions for the small dong movement, so mm -hmm. we both uh, have small penises. Yeah, so okay. I just lied to you. At least publicly. But I was on the podcast, and I just wanted to look cool for your audience, but no, it's Yeah, I, don't lie to me ever again. Just uh, be honest yeah. with me, dude. No, yeah, you're right. You got a nice penis or no? No. Okay. Doesn't that feel better? No. It feels worse? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> You could lie to me, dude. It's fine. No, we're actually pretty amped on having small cocks. Yeah, no, we are. We and are, because yeah. we help a lot of people who have small penises. So well, name some people that you've helped who has a small penis. Our buddy Strider. And actually, that's I in love the show. that dude. Dude, he's, he's so, so funny. funny. Strider's so ever. funny. Yeah. He has a small penis, ever. eh? Oh, yeah. Bummer. I'm, not for me to say, but yeah, Chad said it. Oh, yeah, yeah my bad. But um, that's yeah, that's actually cool. in the show. We, we There's like a big thing. There's an episode about small penises. Yeah, yeah. It's all dedicated to small genitalia. Yeah, mm -hmm. and inspired by Strider because he's such a good dude. But it's yeah. smart. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, so it's highbrow. For sure. It's all about yeah. dicks, but it's highbrow. I mm -hmm. think so. Do, have you guys taken on the approach of talking about uh, women's uh, vaginas as far as the, 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 the girth of those things? We've gotten some messages about it, but we don't feel like we're the right kind of uh, mouthpiece for that. What do you say? Because uh, I don't have a puss, and I feel like okay. someone who does should be the one, someone who's experience that life should be the one who's like public facing on it okay well then here's a bounce back to you why didn't you hire a woman to be a part of the show to do that with you season two baby yeah that's right you guys got to watch right now on netflix chad and Ch uh, chad and jt uh goes deep uh because they won't get a second season if you don't watch right now and otherwise you're taking away jobs from young highly skilled women who could be on the show to talk about their beefy or lack thereof vaginas. So mm. please watch on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, and I don't say that glibly. Like, we really <laughs> will do, like, a big pussy episode next season, so. You think it's a big pussy episode or a little pussy episode? Mm, good question. Probably big pussy, because I feel like, you Most know, pussies are little, huh? I don't know if I have my fingers on the pulse of, like, the pussy talk, but I feel like most people, guys at least, espouse, like, desiring a, a, a small puss. Really? Right? I'm a beefy guy, bud. Oh, you're a beefy guy. I well, love great. a thick puss. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I love dude. a big old beef, or bur beef nice. burger. I, I, I give me, you know, give me the double double dog. I don't, nobody wants a single cheeseburger. So when you see tight lips, you're like, I'm out. Take a hike, bitch. That's what I say. Wow. wow. When some chick comes in all yeah. tidy tidy, I'm like, <laughs> kick rocks. Yeah, yeah, but you haven't even lived a life. Get out of here. Yeah. Get yeah. out of here, tidy, you know? Yeah. I say, give me that loose goose, dude. But I still give get me the Arby's. That's stuff. right, dude. Yeah. We, we have the meats. Yeah, dude. By the way, I saw Arby, Arby's commercial the other day, and it was for, I think it was for like fish sticks. And they still said we have the meats. I couldn't disagree with you more. That's not, fish is not meat. No. There you go, dude. You get that? That's, that's bread and, that's bread and like half a meat. Yeah, right, JT? Yeah, I'm chilling. Dude, how much do you just take? You half that glass. I did it pretty hardy. That's a lot. Be careful and drink hardy responsibly, pull. kids at home. Whoa. But also, these guys didn't drive. They're here for fun. It's not a big deal. Yep. And I see you got my golf club there. Dude, I love this thing. Sandwich? Take it home. I got a whole bunch of them. You guys don't golf, do you? Do a little do? bit. Yeah, you a little do? Bit. Little Go bit. Out there. Yeah. I'd love to play with you guys. Yeah. I think the game's a little long. I think it should be 12 holes. Talked about this. I've talked about this. This is serious. In fact, there's a pro golfer that said this. Uh, uh, I think it was either Brooks Kepka. But he was saying, he's like, I black out for like four holes. Like mm -hmm. I disappear. I'm so bored. It takes mm -hmm. forever. It's a long time. Nine is actually kind of chill. Nine's perfect. Yeah, mm -hmm. nine is actually pretty. You could just play nine and then go live the rest of your life, you know? What's your take on the live tour? Sick. It's great. Fuck yeah. It's amazing, dude. Get that money. Hmm. If, if, if uh, the Saudis offered me $100 million to do comedy exclusively in Saudi Arabia. Oh, they don't. It's not. The live tour is here mostly. There's only two tournaments over there. But if they were like, you have to get paid by Saudis to do stand-up, you better sign me up, dude. Mm -hmm. Sign me up. I'd probably move to Saudi Arabia. Even though they're like, no, you do stand-up still in the States. I'd be like, I'm coming, dude. Mm -hmm. I want to be closer to the money source. Mm -hmm. Dude, you I know? have no idea what Saudi Arabia looks like. Like what the shape of the country is? No, I understand that a bit. But like what it looks like boots on the ground. <laughs> well, you come from a boot fam. You guys should be the first to attack that whole thing. Dude, I'm you're down. ready. You're ready to yeah. go. What does Saudi Arabia look like in your head? Um, like Dubai. Okay. Like I imagine like tall buildings, like kind of like a mass consumer paradise, like designed in like a, like a desert. So there's no landscape. buildings over two stories. It's illegal. Really? Yep. Is that real? Damn. Yep. No, no, it can't be over two stories in Saudi Arabia. Interesting. Fuck. Yeah. So I was close, but I didn't quite get it. Well, there's buildings there for sure, but they're, you know, they're mohills compared to mountains of buildings that we have here. Yeah. Weird rules over there. Yeah. Can't chew gum. It's illegal. Really? Yep. Yep. Why is that? Because people 
I like, think it just looks disrespectful. Like, too much? And, and if someone's walking around just doing that, I think people see that and they're like, what's up with that guy? That's, it looks rude. What's the punishment? Death. Damn. Yeah, they take you right down. For chewing gum? Almost everything you do there wrong is death, dude. You know if you don't have shoelaces in your shoes? Death. Dude, that'd be a hot date. After the date, you're like, you want some gum? That's how you feel dangerous. That's right. Then she's yeah, yeah. gone. Dude. That's what I do to tight puss chicks. I give them some gum in Saudi Arabia and they're Here's gone. some Orbit. You just toss it to them? Yep. Dude. Chew on that. That's Dude. what I say. Chew on that. Then they're dead. <laughs> yeah, man. A lot of weird rules over there in Saudi Arabia. I take the money from the live tour. I don't really care. I mean, how about this? I've thought about this sometimes in the shower. If a, if a very wealthy person, right? If the, a multi-multi-billionaire came to you, kind of like uh, uh, Slugs, Slugworth from Willy Wonka, and he approached you in an alleyway, and he was like, I'll give you a billion dollars, but you have to stop doing comedy. You have to disappear forever. You can't tell Chad, you can't tell JT, and you guys gotta just go away forever. Would you do it? One billion, B, one billion. At the same, oh, stop. I want you to do the same, I want you to do your answer at the exact same time on the count of three. Don't think about it, it's yes or no. One, two, three. No. no. Beautiful. Dude. Doesn't that feel good? That, you guys aren't sellouts, you're not suckers. Dude, yeah. All right, now for two billion. One, <clears throat> two, three. No. no. Whoa. Whoa. But like my parents could still support me? They would. They would have to. <laughs> yeah, because that Netflix money is going to run out, boys. That's not going to last. <laughs> yeah, for real. When the tax man cometh, <laughs> yeah. dude, you're done. Dude, like, Jasmine's been talking dude. about this. We didn't know about taxes. Dude, I, yeah, I didn't really realize taxes were a thing until yep. we got an account. Because like early on, the government pays you. They're like just fucking, you know, That's stay right, out of our dude. shit. That's right. And then when you... Make a little bit of money, though. You got to pay taxes. I was like, what? Doesn't that hurt? I thought yeah. it was like a figure of speech. And then, no, like, it's real, dude. Yeah. We were all stoked to get like agents and managers and all that <laughs> stuff, but like, and they do a great job for real, but like, they get some too. Yeah, they do, don't they? For yeah. real. Yeah, they get 10% for a manager, 10 to an agent, and then five to a, a, a lawyer. Attorney. Do you guys get a lawyer too? Yeah, he's got the man. He's very cool. What's his dude. name? Ben. 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 Seems like a trustworthy all, legal name. All of our reps are actually really cool. We have, we yeah, is there one rep you don't like? There's got to be someone in there. An assistant maybe or... No, no some, all the assistants uh, are cool. Nobody yeah. on the team is a bummer? No I, like, no, I like them all. What about Micah? I know you guys work with Micah a lot. Micah, big teeth. He has one lazy eye. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. What's his deal? Dude, I mean... I, I like him. Yeah. You do? You're still cool with him? Yeah. Wow. Even after all that stuff went public He's about him being like anti-Semitic and all that stuff, you guys still support him? I'm ride or die with my people. That's sick. Wait, what happened? He did a whole like anti-Semitic rant online. It was like 40 minutes long. It was nuts. What? Yeah. And he's Jewish. It was like the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen. Wait, that's what that was about? Yeah. Wait, I gotta oh. call some people. I gotta no, no, no. Dip. Sit down. It's fine. We'll take care of it later. But I'm just saying you might want to delete thought... him from your contacts. He's in the Netflix show. Yeah, Mike is. Well, yeah. part of that speech is in there because I thought he was. Oh, you guys use that speech on the show? Well, I thought yeah. he was championing, championing like, you know, his family. No, brother. I don't think it was. I don't think he was being funny. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, maybe he was. <clears throat> make, maybe it was a joke. No, now that I think about it, like, are you tripped out? Well, that's like no, our. Good. That's our opening scene. Yikes! Well, <laughs> I hope it works out, dude. Let me ask you something. Neff sponsored you guys? Yeah, they made us a shirt. <laughs> That's, That's wild. Dude, it was cool. Do you cool. like Neff? Neff's tight. You're a Neff guy? Yeah, well, I'm not. I can't wear that stuff. The why not? I can see in the beanies, though. I can't wear a beanie. No, why Baseball not? hat only guy. Right. I don't know. Beanies have never been. I grew up in Chicago. We wore beanies in the winter. You guys are California people. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, beanies are cool for you to wear all year round. It doesn't fit my face. I don't have a good beanie face. What are you talking about? You no, got a I great don't. face, buddy. Thank you, man. I, I feel and I don't, I don't care what's on top of that head. I think you got a nice face. Let me see you with that hat on again. I'm getting more secure with it by the day. Yeah. See, that, see backwards like that is almost like a beanie. Yeah, Except, you, you know, put good. your hand over your hair so I can't see your hair real fast. That's a beanie, dude. You look good. Yeah, I like wearing a beanie, but, you know, I have to, like, straighten my hair if I'm going to wear a beanie. I got it. You need the wings. Yeah, I need the Dave Grohl look. Do we like to call it a beanie? Should we call it something else? You know, they call it a toque in Canada. Really? Toques. Yeah. I don't know if I'm ready to make that switch. You like beanie? I like beanie. But do you think it's like adjacent to some... It's a little close... Yeah, it's a little yeah. close to, to, to a racial epithet. Beanie. It has nothing to do with Mexicans, but it is, it's a skirt and a little too close to the line. 
Yeah, you get in trouble if you're not yeah. clear well, with your Well, let's rename it today. Let's do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because I know that you guys, but Chad and JT have always been guys that are, you're men of the people. You're mm-hmm. men of the people. For sure. Uh, you want to create unity. Chamber All jokes aside that we've made on this show, these guys are, are uh, they're not racist. They're not homophobic. They're not transphobic. There's no phobia with you guys. You're supportive right. of all communities, all groups of people, all types, all races, all kinds. So let's remove That's true. the hate from the little thing that you wear, the net, knit cap on your head. What are we calling it? It's now called a what? Um. <laughs> My instinct was to make it sound close to another racist term. You can do. But no, I, was, I didn't have the right <laughs> thing ready, and I was just going to... No. I was going to get into hot water yeah. and I don't think I was going to pull it we off. We could have cut it out, but we're not, yeah. but you know what? I appreciate that we have that option, <laughs> but I was about to, Dude, I, got I wanted to touch the called? fire. A okay. dome tent. Dome tent. Dude. Sick. Master of it. The, he's so Killer good with tent. like lingo. Like he just invents words. This dude's like Shakespearean well, over here. his vocabulary is off the charts. But I'm using That's established words. Up. He uses new words, words that no one's heard before. What's more impressive though, I guess, <clears throat> this is two different kinds of in- intelligence, right? Yeah, like Chad has got Chad has got a hold on his creative intellect. Yours is you're just an, a genius, a regular genius. Dude, I didn't know you were gonna label me that. Like, as far kindly, as I'm concerned, you're a genius, and I appreciate it. Chad's just a different kind of genius. I won't let you down. You don't have to. I'm not holding you to anything. I think you're gonna be fine with or without me. Nice. I feel that pressure though. What are you talking about? I, I'm not gonna be judging you whatsoever. Fuck yeah, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I that. want you to fly as free as you can fly. I also want you to be careful. I want to be careful too, but I'm, I'm careful at times, and then there's times where I think I need to not be careful because I think it's good for the spirit. Be a little reckless. Yeah, it's important, right? Sure. Uh, depends. Well, it depends how you're reckless. What are you, what, when are you reckless? I think it's important if you're on a dirt bike. For sure, yeah. If I'm on my, like... 250, I got to let it rip a little bit. If you're ripping, you definitely got to let that thing go. Are you hucking it sideways? Are you whipping that shit to the side? Yeah, I'm doing a little tail whip when I come off the tabletop. If you're doing that, then you definitely got to be a little reckless. Yeah, and I'm not wearing a helmet. JT's really good at the- The kids, wear a helmet. You're really good at the vertical leap. I love oh. that, dude. Yeah. You go the straight high up. jump. I go straight like up. Like Tommy Cowers. You remember that guy from Oh, X yeah, Games? dude. Dude, he's like the next <laughs> Tommy Cowers. I'm trying to kiss the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you ever fallen? <laughs> yeah, a bunch. Yeah, I can see that. But fall seven times, get up eight. Dwing and Wade. Is that was Dwayne Wade that said that? It was a commercial for him. Fall seven times and get up eight? Where do you rank Dwayne Wade all time as a two guard? All time. All time. Oof. Top 10. For sure. Top mm. five, no. Top 10, yeah. Six. He's six or seven. Yeah, he's right around there. Can you name him? Of my top? Yeah. <sighs> no. In here, we pour whiskey. Hey, boys, everybody likes to last a little bit longer. You know, when you're in the bedroom and you're making the love and you got that uh, playlist down in the background, you don't want to make it through only one song and then finish. No chance. You want to last a little bit longer, and it's not that big of a deal that you don't last that long. Millions of men deal with this. Not a thing. Who cares? That's why Roman has you covered. The Roman swipes are clinically proven to help you last longer in bed. Get yourself some Roman swipes, baby. They knew what they're doing over there. You take care of every other part of yourself to get ready for the bedroom. You want to look good. You want to stink good. You want to feel good. Why not uh, make your old Peter patter downstairs last longer? Who cares if it doesn't? You can stretch it out now. Now with technology, they got you covered. There's no prescription needed whatsoever for Roman swipes. Um, PE treatments are safe. They're effective. And they're used by millions of men. So you are not alone on that island. And plus, I got free two-day shipping. You want it to you fast if you got a date in two or three days and you're like, baby, you got to give me a couple days. I got something coming in the mail that might help us out a little bit. Look, if you want to make it to the end of your playlist while you're making some love, you got to get yourself some Roman swipes. Go to GetRoman.com slash whiskey today to help yourself last just a little bit longer. Go to GetRoman.com slash whiskey today. If you're approved, which you probably will be, uh, you're going to get $10 off your first order of these Roman swipes. Trust me, they are wonderful. Proven, safe, effective. You're going to dig it. And so is the person that you're uh, last a little bit longer with. Uh, that's GetRoman.com slash whiskey. GetRoman.com slash whiskey. Hey, listen, a lot of you guys know I like to golf. I like to swing the old stick. Uh, and I got to tell you, 
collared shirts, dress shirts, uh, those old days of stiff, uncomfortable, nonsense dress shirts and collared shirts and polos, they're gone. They're gone. And thanks to Mizzen and Maine, I love this company. I really do. They sent me a bunch of different kinds of shirts. I wore a button-down short sleeve the other night to dinner, and I was looking f f f f f fire. Uh, and they also sent me some golf shirts, some polos, and beautiful. Uh, I, what I love about these things, genuinely, is they're fitted well. I cannot stand boxy, ugly dress shirts. They bother me so much. Um, unless you got a terrible body, and then, you know, then these things aren't for you. Uh, this is for people who love the way they look. Uh, but Miz and Main makes great stuff. Um, I really like I, I really like it, man. It's very comfortable. It's flexible. Um, you know, they've got uh, they've got machine washable clothing that you can skip those trips to the dry cleaner. And uh, it was created out of uh, Washington, D.C. Their founder saw a guy run up a hill in a sweat-soaked, wrinkled dress shirt and thought, there has to be a better way. They set out to make being comfortable and looking great the new normal. And boy, oh boy, have they done it, man. Um, they're, they've gotten famous for their dress shirts. Uh, but Mizzen and Maine now makes incredibly comfortable flannels, no tuck shirts, which is huge because Papa doesn't like to tuck. Come on, what am I? How old am I? Uh, performance polos, chinos, and so much more in all performance fabrics with modern tailoring. And, and it is really nice. The, the fabric is very kind of loose and stretchy. It's not stiff. Um, I really do love it. Honestly, wear it to work, wear it afterwards to drinks, wear it to golf, wear it to go hang out, wear it to work out. Mizzen and Maine just turned 10. They've got a great deal running right now on their site all summer long. Right now, if you go to mizzenandmain.com, use the promo code whiskey, you'll receive $25 off any regular price order of $130 or more. That's $25 off when you go to M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-M-A-I-N, mizzenandmain.com, and use the promo code whiskey. Ginger. I like gingers. That was, dude, respect. Yeah. I don't want to name him because I don't want to get into a... This you didn't take a, the bait. That's why you're a vet, dude. You know why, dude? This was going to be a war. It was going to be a sports argument about who likes what. Dude, people will come after you about it, They too. will, dude. They will. Uh, like, you forgot this guy. You're like, dude, it was off the top. What do you want me to do? Yeah, I didn't you have know? time. Greatest, uh, I will say, uh, greatest assist, greatest, assi my three top assists, NBA players that are the best assists, ass assisters? They're not assisters because they're guys. Assistants? Passers? Passers is a weird way to say it, though. I think it's way more normal than assisters. The top three greatest assisters. Not to, not to, to big Huck. time you, dude. The top three greatest due to Huck in the NBA? Yeah. See? Dude, you're so good at that. Dude, it just flows out of my dome. Uh, uh, no, dude, don't do it. <laughs> why not? <laughs> not this time, not this time. Jerry West. <laughs> Jerry West. Um, John Paxson. Really? Jason Williams. Oh, Whoa. dude, Jason Williams. Did you watch Jason Williams' highlights from, like, Come on, man. when he's playing, like, pickup? It's on loop in my head. I'm dude, watching it right now when I talk to you guys. It's unbelievable. Dude, that one pass that he does where he goes behind the back. Hits it with the elbow? And he hits it with the elbow? So sick. It's unbelievable. Dude, for the longest th time, I thought Machine Gun Kelly was Jason Williams. <laughs> Show me that he's not. That's what I'm Show saying, Show me those dude. two dudes in the same room. Yeah. Machine Gun Kelly is the guy he dates Megan Fox. Yeah. yeah. They're married, I think. They're very in love. Yeah. Are they really? They like For sure. tantric sex and organic smoothies. They did so one of those quizzes where you have to like guess what your partner said and they crushed it. Well, let's see if you guys could do that. I think we could. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, I want you to close your eyes. Well, not both of you. Just one of you. <laughs> uh, I'll go first. Okay. Close your eyes and plug your ears. All right. What is, what is Chad's? No, you have to close your. What is Chad's favorite ice cream flavor? And mouth it to me. Don't say it. Mouth it. Fuck. I know he loves McFlurries. Shh, quiet down. Dude. He loves McFlurries. Yeah, but what flavor? Fuck. I'm gonna go cookie, cookies and cream. Got it. Oreo cookies and cream. All right. All right. You gotta plug your ears. <laughs> All right. What is your favorite ice cream? Um. Flavor, but ice cream. Ice cream flavor? The world of ice cream. What is your favorite ice cream thing? Oh, I'm on fucking pins and needles, man. man. You really, you yeah, fuck, man. I mean. Well, look, you guys said you were like Megan Fox and MGK. Dude, I mean, you, you dude, well, I mean, you said it's at the top. We're simple dudes. I like chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Not like a, not like a McFlurry? <laughs> Well, I do love McFlurries. What flavor of McFlurry? M&M. All right, man. Oh, Way I off. I fucked that up. I knew it was m and m I <laughs> can't remember. Like Oreo? No, I said Oreo. Yeah, cookies oh, and cream. Dude, well, yeah. I, do, I do love Oreo. Okay, dude, see, you guessed that I would say Oreo, though, because you know me so well. Um, no, I mean, I, I like... 
If you're gonna uh, like, why are you doing I'm this? Gonna, I'm gonna go M M&M and M every time. I'm sorry. M and M. No, you're right. Say, no, I forgot. I forgot it was M and M. I forgot it was M M&M. and yeah. But but McFlurries are your favorite, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Was that was that you have to get a McFlurry when you go to McDonald's? Sometimes you just yeah. get it when you're not going to McDonald's. Uh yeah. Well, that's how sure. he celebrates too. Like after we would have like a nice yeah. night, he'd be like, "I'm going to get a McFlurry." Yeah, like I, I uh, you know, I took I'm a break a from bitch, drinking. I, I took a break. No, from... No, it's okay, dude. Don't do that to yourself. You're okay. You're so nice, man. Yeah, don't that. beat yourself up. I, I took two years off from drinking, and during that time, welcome it's like, back. Thank you. Yeah, I'm with the straight up. Um, during that time, it's like after you get off drinking for a while, you just crave. I just cra- would crave like a reward, mm-hmm. and so McFlurries became that, especially after like stand up shows. Right. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys doing a good, a good tour together? We are. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we just started touring like late winter of last year. Is it going good? It's, it's fun, man. It's yeah. so fun. Do you guys go on stage at the same time or you split? We're split. split. And people don't know that and they'll book us on shows and be like, you guys are going up together, right? We're like, no, we do stand up separately. How, do, how much time do you guys do each? 20 to 30, depending. Sometimes we'll bring Strider. Strider's uh, good. He's Strider's so good, And then man. Uh, Joe Marisi, he's sort of in our crew too. Love Joe. He's the best. I yeah. mean, both those guys. He just are, moved back. Just moved yeah, back. Yeah, we're stoked. Shaved yeah. his head, moved back. Yeah. He's like a new guy. He's thin, too. He looks great. Yeah, he lost yeah, a bunch of weight. Dude, he looks amazing. You guys He's don't ever have to worry about that. Known. You're skinny your whole life. Dude. No, dude, I got fat for a while. Really? Yeah. How fat is fat? I wasn't fat fat, but I was puffy. Right. Yeah. Now, now you're trim and shredded. Now you're it, jacked, dude. It was COVID, dude. I just had so much free time. I just started doing CrossFit. So you were getting you were getting fat before COVID, and then COVID saved your life, basically, is what you're saying. Totally. So say thank you. Thank you, COVID. And I, I got on Seroquel, uh, antipsychotic, and that makes you put on weight. Seroquel. Mm-hmm. Man, I wish we could run an ad for that right now. I call it Sarah Chill. Very antipsychotic. <laughs> yeah. You're losing your mind a little bit. You know, I don't actually think I was that bad. I think I'm like LA bipolar, which is which they like they just put it on you if you're just like kind of wild and have a lot of anxiety. Did you br- have psychotic breaks? No, never. You never had a break. I was always making sense to the people around me. I never had like a break where I was like speaking in like Tongues. a language that wasn't uh, intelligible. <clears throat> do you think you could do that? I don't know. Maybe try to speak to me in a language that's unintelligible. No, it didn't work. Yeah, you understand you're fine. me, huh? You understood that. Yeah, I know exactly what you said. Well, that was Can French. you speak in tongues? Yeah. Hit me with it. You sound like one of the senators in Star Wars. <laughs> 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 yeah. You sound like one of the senators in Star Wars. It does, kind of. It does, yeah, yeah. That's how I was always fascinated with uh, uh, anytime I, I went to go see... Uh, What's it called? Uh, oh, why can't I? The, the, um, dude, what's wrong with me? The little cute little yellow dudes, man. What's wrong with me? Oh, minions. Minions, minions yeah. yeah, yeah. Know, my brain just went blank. I love, I love that the language that they, they come up with. Yeah, it's charming. It's, it's Yeah, so it makes you sweet. wonder, like, how did the writers come up with that? I think they just did what we did. You think they were just fucking around in a room I and just, just making fucking noises? fucking around, dude. The more I'm in Hollywood, the more I'm like, oh, these people, none of these people know what they're doing. We're all just making it up. William dude. Goldman. A uh, screenwriter who wrote like this thing, he said, number one rule of Hollywood, no one knows anything. Yeah, no, we don't. I've learned that about adulthood, dude. The older I get, how old are you guys? 34. 31. I thought you were the same age. We no, thought we younger. were for he's, a long but he's time. He's like my big bro. So yeah. I do feel like he's younger guy, big bro. Yeah. Because you're sure. very responsible. You're grounded. Uh, you got I, your shit in order. I love dude, the he email. Does. You have a 401k. No, but I love to email. Do you have a retirement plan? Oh, yeah. You have insurance? Uh, no, but I know a guy who. This Gets money for me. Yeah. You don't have any of that shit, do you? No, I do. I have friends. And <laughs> <laughs> I have like a friend for like every spot. I have like a doctor friend, an insurance friend, a lawyer friend. Is yeah. your doctor friend an actual doctor? Or yes. He, okay. He's a legend. He, and he's now Chad's like doctor friend. I love him. Yeah. So you call your, he's your doctor friend, not you're just your doctor. No, he's, he's your my, friend as well. He's my boy. I love him to death. Even if he wasn't a doctor. Would he not tell you the truth given, you know, what if he was like, you know, what if you went in to see him and he didn't tell you the truth because you're his boy before his doctor? No, he's my boy because he tells me the truth. So it's 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 doctor first, homie second. Because if it was homie first, doctor second, you'd be in trouble. Dude, you know what's funny is he's my homie first, and that's why I'm, I trust him as my doctor second because I know he'll tell me the straight scoop. See, that scares me, my friend. I'd rather have a doctor first, homie second. Oh, so you think he's a little biased? Like he's going to give me, like, favorable— not, Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, dude, not my homies. No way. I got to tell you, dude. 
You t- you take an oath when you become a doctor. I was a doctor for 14 years before I did stand up. Really? Yeah, and I took an oath. And in the oath, legitimately, it says you got to be doc first, homie sec. What kind of doctor are you? Were you? Was I? Yeah. I'm no longer a doctor anymore. You're a proctologist. You're a doctor of funny. Yeah, yeah. proctologist. You're a w- doctor of funny, bro. Grazie. I don't have my PhD yet, though. No, do you do, bro? No, I don't. I applied and they said no, Do you no, one of the top yet. doctors in the country? You think that, dude? And I've gone around being a laugh doctor for a while now, and I'm still in my residency. I'm still working through you it. You know what? But I think the fact that you maintain that like mentality is why you are one of the top doctors. Appreciate you, dude. Yeah, sure. I was a proctologist for 14 years. Dude, nice. That's assholes. It just got old, dude. It's just like staring at butts is a bummer. Right. It's a bummer. Because oh, that would never bum me out. Uh, it bums me out. Let me tell you something. 47%, I did the math, 47% of people uh, don't clean their butthole. Whoa. So, yeah, if I saw 100 people, I have 47 of these guys would just have dirty, dirty dangers, yeah. and it was tough to well, sift through. That's disgusting. You were yeah. watching like Pornhub, and you're like, I should be an ass man. But that gives yeah. a distorted view of ass. Yeah, because those are always clean. Yeah. Yeah, those are always clean, but... Damn. You know, now I'm a comic. Now I'm a comic and a, and a, and a friend. Mm-hmm. Did you guys ever want to be anything else? No. I, was, I want... Okay. No, you go, baby. I wanted to be an Imagineer. Design Disney rides, oh, roller shit. coasters. I think that'd be the sickest job. Do you have ever. one in your mind right now? A roller coaster? Mm-hmm. Take me through it. I'm closing my eyes now. Take me through it. Go. Uh, all right, so... It's a vertical, vertical, uh, vertical hill. Whoa, so you go straight up. Am I on one of the clink, clink, clink things on the way up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Click, 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 And then at the top, you see like a huge animatronic of JT. And he's like, good luck, dude. He's giving you Shaka. shit, dude. And then you go do a 90 degree drop. Straight down. Yeah. Super dangerous. I love it. Wow. And then you go into a tunnel that's just JT's mouth. Oh, cool, dude. Yeah. And then it turns into it's a small world and it's just JT dancing. Okay. And he's, and he's just giving you a motivational speech. Wait, dude, I know how Have this Have we slowed one, down at I this know, point? I know I how like this yeah. one ends. Okay, what happens yeah. now? And then. And at the end. Andrew, keep your eyes open for this one. Then JT kisses Chad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, oh, dude, deeper on that uh, dude, I, I dude, like how that ride ends. <laughs> dude, I love how much you hate dude kisses. Bro. How many times it's have you guys so dude kissed before the show? No, I think yeah. these are our first ones. No, no, dude, we did some. Uh, oh, we did one on the we show. Did like three. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's not, it didn't make the cut, but. Yeah, well, who was that? Jo- you think that was just show. for JT then? What's up? You think the kisses were just for him? <laughs> the director was yeah. like, let JT get this out. Yeah. yeah. You just got to knock. Who directed, by the way? Dan Lucchese. Dan Lucchese, monster. A legend. Yeah, Dan Lucchese. He's British, British, dude. Yeah. Um, dude, we kind of hired him because he was British. He him. did have the best take on the show. Yeah. But, like, you know, you like we met with showrunners, and all of them were solid, but he had a British accent, and we were like, yeah, duh. Yeah. What, like, how did he, what, is he posh? No, well, he also, he was like, he started out making skate videos. And they were like, that's us. And then he transitioned into, like, Basically our style. He'd done, like, prank stuff before. Yeah. And then he also was like, hey, I'm going to make you guys look like legends. <laughs> That's a really good impression of a guy who doesn't know how to do a British accent. That's very good. <laughs> Dude, I've been working on it, bro. Thank you. That's yeah, really yeah. good. What's, What's your British videos? accent? What? What's your British accent? All right, then, go, bro. <laughs> Cheerio, peep pop, and a tip top to you. It's probably one of the best in the business. But, dude, your face does a lot <laughs> Thank of the you. work yeah, for yeah. you. Well, yeah. I'm a trained actor, dude. So. Yeah. Dude, yeah. you're a good actor. Thank you. You're Bring a good me that actor. umbrella. <laughs> I'm ready to go outside. <laughs> so it goes to Australian real fast. But that's what you did for your 007 audition, right? <laughs> yeah, it's exactly right. Yeah, you could be right. James Bond, bro. <laughs> yeah, I could. <laughs> Would you feel not stirred? Would you feel pressure being James Bond? Not stirred. (laughs) What? Would you feel pressure being James Bond? No, it's not like there's a legacy to it or anything. I don't think anybody cool has done it. You know, name one James Bond that was cool. Exactly. All those dudes were lame, dude. You just blew my mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Name one James Bond that was like a a cool guy, ladies ladies man like me. You know, (laughs) none of them. Do you think yeah. you fuck better than all the James Bonds? <laughs> dead, you're dead. What are you talking about? There's only one guy in Hollywood who strokes better than me. Only one. Who is it? Jason Statham. Oh. Whoa. I was going to say machine. Yeah, bald guys lay the pipe. Fuck machine. Dude. Yeah. He's a fuck machine. He's a fuck machine. 
I've got to go. You're like I'm a fuck. a fuck machine. Hey, Jason, I heard you fuck. I'm a fuck machine. You fuck, Jason? Yeah. Hey, baby girl, over here. <laughs> Come ride my dick before I got to go. I'm a fuck machine. <laughs> Gentle Guys are now. Gentle. Gentle. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Just, I'm about to come. I'm about to nut. I miss that guy. <laughs> I'm about to nut. What happened Dude, to I him? Heard to sex, him? Yeah. I heard before sex. I've heard before sex he does pull ups with a boner. <laughs> <laughs> and then he drops down. They so watch, when he puts his dick dude. down, she's there. Oh, oh, oh. When he goes up and out, that's dude. You got to be efficient. <laughs> yeah, for you sure. Got to be efficient. Make your time. Jaters, what oh. were you going to be if you weren't going to be a comedian? Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I think I would have been a high school teacher. Yeah. Cool. What kind? Ca- what are we talking? I think I would have taught um, general life philosophy, but if that's not- General even, life philosophy. I didn't take that. Yeah, but if that's not an available subject, I think I would have done English. Yeah, you do, you are, you do have a nice proficient vocabulary. Oh, really? Thanks, you do man. seem like you're well-versed in- Like if I throw a big word at you, you'll know what it is. I hope so. Yeah. Throw uh, one at me. Okay. Um, kind of hammered now, but I'm ready. Oh, seriously? Is that going to affect your... No, I'm ready. Because you would do that when you would teach, right? You get slammed before you talk. I'd be drunk. Can you imagine there's teachers that don't get drunk before they teach? Whoa. What are you doing? I don't know. Sober teaching would be miserable. Uh, Weird. I'd be lit, dude. We had an econ teacher in high school, Mr. Hart, shout out. I think he's dead. He he would get wasted before class. And we, we knew. No one snitched, though, dude. Nobody snitched. I was surprised. Not one kid ratted him out, but he'd drink vodka and we'd know. Wow. Isn't that a beautiful thing when no one snitches? Yeah, dude, see, isn't this the message we're trying to send the world right now? Don't be a snitch because it's so much nicer when no one snitches. Dude, that was like when Michael Sam, like the first like openly gay player to go into the NFL draft, like none of his teammates, they all knew he was gay for a year. It never got leaked in the media. They all kept it I kept it in, in, in the closet. They were waiting for exactly, but by his choice. Yeah, cuz he was like don't tell anybody I'm gay. Yeah, he was like let me tell it. You know how many times I've said that to somebody and it gets right out? I was like don't tell anybody I'm gay. Right away. Your friends are calling each other. Mm. Dude Santino's gay. You know where I saw him? Mm. Yeah, at Starbucks on Highland with another dude in the middle of the week, kissing. And it's like, yeah, maybe I'm running a bit. Have you kissed a guy? Yeah. Who? Bobby Lee's my best friend. Oh. You think I even kissed that guy? Dude. It's we, insane. We did his podcast last week. He showed us his butthole. Yeah, and he'll his do dick. that. And his dick. Well, his dick, yeah, he'll show his dick. It's pristine. This podcast is better than his podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's no doubt. Oh, yeah. And it's not, a, it's not an argument. I'm not trying to make you guys choose sides, but obviously it is. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Thank yeah. you. I just I know you you thought it and yeah. I just wanted to put it in your head after you thought it. You know? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who do you respect more as a person? It's <laughs> a good question. No, it's not. It's a, it's it's very straightforward. It's me. Who do you respect more? Out of me and Bobby? Yeah. <sighs> Gen- honestly, Honestly, out of me and Bobby, I probably respect Ken Jong the most. Mm, yeah. yeah. He's probably the premier Korean mm. to me. Small Dong Warrior. Is he? Oh, yeah, he is. Mm. Yeah, dude, he let it fly to the, the whole How nation. much would it take financially for you guys to show your penis on a movie, on a major uh, box office movie? Uh, Zero dollars. You do it for free. I'm ready. You're down to show your dick. Always. Season two. I hope so. Tune fingers in. Pray, fingers crossed. I, um... I'm more of a money man with this whole tax situation. Of course, yeah. You need to make back what you gave. I'd say probably a thou. Thou buck, and you're definitely showing your ding dong. Yeah. Balls too, or just dick? Uh, balls too, for sure. But I'd say JT, out of the two of us, he's got the best balls. I already know it. Yeah. Because his skin gets really tan. Any friend yeah. I ever had who got tan skin always had a nice sack. Yeah. Is it stretchy? I have a huge nutsack. Yeah. Any tan friend I had, they always could stretch it like around their legs. You could do the flying squirrel. You can pull it, can't you? I can do all the tricks. Can you tuck your nuts? What does that mean? You tuck your nuts? Like between my legs? Up in your butt, yeah. You, can you tuck them up? Oh, Are they long wow. enough to go up to your butt, inside your butt cheeks? I've never tried that, but I'm willing to. We had a bunch of friends that could tuck their nuts in high do school. Do you want me to do it right now? No. Yeah, I don't want no, to you, Yeah, I don't want you to do that, dude, because you're <laughs> a little buzzed right now, and I know you'll try. <laughs> And I don't want to have to drive you to the ER with your nuts in your butt. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Going to the ER with your nuts in your butt? They just make you have cough. Oh, that would suck. They come right out. Dude, one time I actually, we were hammered and I accidentally pushed him off a cliff. <laughs> and uh, his sack just inflated like a parachute. 
Yeah, I landed just it. Floated down. It was like Whoa. Dennis Rodman in Double yeah. Trouble. How far was the but drop? Six hundred feet. Yeah, but he's wearing chubbies. See so you now, chubbies are kind of like short. So yep. his sack was coming out the whole time on purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I just sort of like we were doing the um, that dance he do in like middle school. You know the um, the synchronized dance. What's the one? Where it's like, and the step slide? to the back. The electric no, sh- slide. The electric slide. The electric, slide. Slide. The electric yeah. slide. And during one of the moves, I, I like hip checked him and he just fell off and just floated Whoa. down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But your nut saved you. Yeah. Your sack, sorry. My balls were like, dude, you're not dying today. Not you today. got too much in your future. Yeah. Not today, bro. That's sick. Yeah, it is cool. It inflated so violently that actually just like the air like whipped me back. Oh, so you got hurt. Yeah. Show you right, huh? Dude, yeah. That's funny. Actually, going back to the point about doctors, would you rather have a bro or a doctor? Yeah. I, I, I agree with you on doctors because I racked my nuts recently and I like, it was, all, it was like all bruised and stuff. Your nuts act? Yeah. And I showed it to JT and he was like, looks great. And it, I really appreciated that. But then I went to a doctor and he was like, oh, Jesus. And I was yeah. like, that's what I needed to hear. Right. It's got to be doctor first, bro second. I'm just telling you. Where'd you yeah. rack your nuts on? Do the bleachers. I was actually, I was, I was trying to play basketball because there was like a basketball game coming up. I haven't played in a while. So I was like, and I, all these kids were like occupying the courts and stuff. So mm-hmm. I was like being all cool in the bleachers. Just like, I'll just wait for one to open up. As soon as one opens up, I trip off the bleachers, fall forward and land straight into my sack. Dude. <laughs> was this on the show? No. no this, this is in your real life. This is all alone. And I, I swear to God, I fell down on the ground on my back and I was like, oh, oh. And this kid was right there. He's like, are you okay, man? It was was the most embarrassing thing. (laughs) When a child is like, you all right, grown adult man who (laughs) racked himself? (laughs) He was like 14. He's like, are you okay, dude? I was like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's when I stopped skateboarding when I realized you could uh, hurt your penis. Oh, That always scared me, hurting your penis. You guys are big skate rats, huh? No. I like to surf. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because you said the guy was a skateboard director, right? I like beach volleyball. He directed uh, skate videos. This Lucchese guy. Yeah, whatever. but that was I, the vibe. That it was, was the, the tone, but it wasn't like our specific. Well, you're, sur- you're so you're a surf guy. Yes. Who do yeah, we thought? Who's rip. the greatest surfer of all time? Greatest surfer of all time? Yeah. Uh, it's a competitively Kelly Slater. No doubt, huh? Yeah. Who it non-competitively? Uh, Who's just like a nutso, a nutso that rips? Nutso that rips. I mean, Dane Reynolds is up there. Have you ever heard of him? He's no. up in Ventura. No, but any name you're going to name other than Kelly Slater, I won't know. Dude. Well, why do you love that one guy? Oh, Julian Wilson? Yeah. Because I look like him. He's a hot Julian dude. Wilson. Yeah, and I would always aspire to be more like Julian because, like, one time I saw him in Santa Cruz, uh-huh. and I was total, like, fanboy, like, the most starstruck I've ever been because I was, like, he's just, like, kind of like a hot Australian dude that rips. So I had a poster of him in my car, and I was like, hey, dude, can you sign this? That's cute. Did he sign it? Yeah. Did you guys? Like, did you ever? Did you I, hang out? Do you want to like nah. kick it with him? No, nah, I'm too shy. I, I was, I was, I like ran away afterwards. You are a shy guy, huh? Yeah, yeah. How do yeah. you break out of your shy shell? Um, I like performing. I like being on stage and stuff. That's the way yeah. to get out. Yeah, but I mean, for me, that was always sort of. Uh, I was always really, really shy. But then when we're acting or like doing stand up and stuff, it's like you have a mic and stuff, and that's that always felt like an outlet for me to for sort sure. of let my. And I, I've gotten less and less shy as I've gotten along, but that was sort of my outlet, I'd say. How did you guys meet then? Uh, um, doing a beer bong. Four Hose beer Four bong Hose at beer Bryson's bong. party. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Mount Chugmore yeah, from Amazon, $25.99. Oh, well, yeah, I've seen it. Mm-hmm. That's killer. Yeah. It was fun, dude. Was it immediate friendship? You know what? It grew like kind of organically. I think, you know, the thing about Chad is, is that like at first I knew he was like a cool dude, but I didn't realize like how much substance there was to him and then as i got to know him i was like oh this dude is like really dialed in in terms of like he's a deep dog he really is there's a lot going on in there oh thanks big time dude you know thanks man same with this dude yeah different though for sure yeah we're different yeah yeah. but similar nope i think you're very different the only thing you guys have in common is that you're both geniuses, like I told you. Thanks. Man. Outside you, of that, you're remarkably unique. Do you consider yourself a genius? Uh, I'm what, no. I'm what they call a quantum. Do you know what that is? No. I'm a superior being, mm. better than all those around. Mm. Uh, Did you always feel that way? Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever not felt that way. Yeah, I've kind of always been a quantum. My so you were in like second grade and you were like... Second grade. What is that? Like you're six. Oh, I know. Oh. What's second grade? Oh, school? Yeah. Oh, brother, you don't go to school when you're a quantum. 
Mm. Whoa. So when you come out of the birth canal, you're blessed immediately as a quantum. They know. They get kind of an email alert uh, that you're entering the world. And then they send a, co a couple of quantum heads to come over to bless you, to say, you know, this is kind of your future. You're, you're going to be better than everybody. And um, then you kind of live a life of mystery from mm. then on. Like I told you, a doctor before, this little bullshit comedy thing I'm doing for a while. Next up, I have to be <clears throat> an astrophysicist, which is kind of daunting, but I'm ready to do it. Dude, it's a great time. That new Webb telescope. It's sick. It's major. It's so sick. I love those photos. Yeah, I mean, come on, dude. Are they oh. real? I'm still trying to figure it out. Dude. What do we, is the Earth flat? Dude. Honestly, I believe every conspiracy theory. And well, I believe none of them. So we're like a good contrast that way. Yeah. Well, because here's the deal. It's like I get that the earth is round in people's heads, but if you put a ball on the ground right there, is it going to roll away? No. No, it's flat. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I mean, the moon, alien satellite, 100%. so obvious. Yeah, 100%. Liver king, natty. Dude, the, li the liver king? I've been dude, following he's not his diet. Natty, dude. No, he's the yeah, <laughs> yes, he is, dude. He's the natty. No king. way. Liver dude. King has never taken PEDs in his entire life. No never. HGH, no nothing, no testosterone. Never, dude. That dude is natty as fuck. He doesn't you know even what? lift. You know that he doesn't even lift. He doesn't lift. Does he not work out? He no. eats bull testicles. He doesn't like sleep. If you eat enough bull plates? balls and liver, you will naturally just get jacked. Facts are facts, dude. But he tans. Yeah, duh. That's All a right. part well, of know. That, that's a whole part of being a liver god, is getting you have to be tan, eat nuts and liver, and mm -hmm. you li and you become a jacked god, mm -hmm. superior. What's your take on uh, Andrew Tate? Uh, I don't have a take. I leave him. Oh, nice. I don't take him. I leave him. I leave him right outside. He is a. Uh, if, if I'm not making a joke, he's a brilliant uh, internet troll. He's extremely. Yeah, he is really he's good a at that, right? He's a fucking genius, dude. Yeah, that guy is as good as anybody we've ever seen manipulate the internet. He's like Donald Trump of. Dude, that's such a good call. <laughs> it's yeah. like the same kind of troll, where he's a genius. He he manipulated people to following his gossip. Basically, Andrew Tate is just a misogynistic uh, evangelical preacher, right? And the same way that those people were able to like pu puppeteer millions of people to like agree with them wholeheartedly, he's the exact same way. These are just very smart people who put their intelligence into something evil. Right, and they see an opportunity, like something that's not being spoken about, and yeah. they're like, okay, there's an audience for this. Yeah. And I can like counter what the popular narrative is, and then they just go for it. It's, br it's The guy's brilliant. I mean, he's a fucking, he's a psycho, but he's brilliant. He's, he's all over the place. I, I don't think he believes in anything he says, but he just right. also knows it's going to make a lot of money. Mm. You know, it's, 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 Trump did the same thing. There's so many of these guys that are good at that. Mm. But mm -hmm. you know what? I'd rather have honest, cool, smart, genuine guys like Chad and JT. Oh, thanks, man. Try. Yeah, thank like, you, Like, you guys are misogynistic. You don't need all that. You don't have any hate. No. No, it doesn't work for me. No. Like, any time I've tried to be angry at people, it hasn't helped my life. No. Like, uh, try to be angry at me right now, okay? Ready? Like, uh, I just cut you off in traffic, and I rolled down my window. Woot! What the fuck, dude? What's your fucking problem, bud? I'm just in a bad mood, man. And I was taking it out on you, but I'm sorry. Oh. Are you fucking JT? Yeah. I just saw your Netflix show. Did you like it? That shit is trash. <laughs> I respect your opinion, bro. That's a really good way to handle it. <laughs> That's probably how it would. Yeah. Other people would probably get mad, but that guy no, was I mean. I think that would crack me up. Yeah. <laughs> he said it was trash. Yeah. As long as he watched it. What's yeah. the funniest mean comment you guys have received about your work? Oh, um, Funniest mean comment. You know what's funny is like when people run into you at like a bar mm -hmm. and they're like hammered, but mm -hmm. they're like a fan, but they also want to like not give you credit. Sure. One time a dude was like, this was like very inside to what we do, but he was like, I don't know. I like laughed at something he said. He was like, or I said I didn't understand something he said. And then he was like, oh yeah, just take advantage of more people from Orange County who don't know you're filming them. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a specific dart. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> that is a good dart. I know, but I didn't know the guy. And I was like, wait, bro, do you want to be friends? Or are you like trying to like really hammer me? You're yeah. trying to belittle me, dude. Yeah. What do you, don't take advantage, go, go take advantage of more people from Orange County that don't know you're filming. You know, he didn't say it that well, but that, that sounded was, really, uh, that was eloquent. Yeah, but he, he kind of, that was the uh, general idea, and I was like, oh, fuck, bro. Yeah. Let me tell you something, you're not taking advantage of anybody. No, it's open camera, anyone can see him. Yeah, you guys are, you guys are just uh, playing with the world that exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for That's sure. That's how I always saw it. Dude, I, uh, this one guy commented, 
He's like, his teeth don't match his face. <laughs> yeah, we're getting more of those now. <laughs> That's yeah. so good. Yeah. yeah. See, uh, those kind of, I really like those. Yeah. Cause fuck you or you suck is such a loser comment. It's lazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hit me, dude. Say something funny. Dude. Say something funny and then I'm in. Do you read your comments? No. That's smart. How do you resist that? I just don't give a shit. I mean, like, Did it's, you reach it's a hard. Point? Um, it's hard because I kind of like, I used to love reading comments because I liked engaging with fans. Mm. But now my engagement with fans is like, you know, it's this. It's like, I'm trying my best to bring fans shit that I like, people I think are talented and cool, and then let the rest kind of do itself. But I do like to try to engage with fans. It's just difficult, dude, because there's, it's so much noise that the people who probably really like you don't say as much. You know mm. what I mean? I think that's true. That's the yeah. bummer is like the, yeah. you know, but I do try sometimes to like see if there's engagement, but a lot of times it's, you know, uh, people, uh, even people fighting within comments gets old. Mm. That like someone says something and someone starts another argument and you're like, ah, oh, this is a waste of all, everybody's time. So I don't know, man. I don't think I really give a fuck about uh, that stuff anymore because it, it doesn't... Um, I don't know. There's not. A, it's not as a uh, 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 whole anymore. It's 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 pieces of bullshit all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. I, even even like I was wondering on things that when you go on like Rogan, for example, mm -hmm. are you interested in how it would? I, I I feel like on bigger things like that, you have more of kind of like I want to see what the general gist is. Or no. is that still no, doesn't apply? Don't care. No, I don't fucking care. Yeah. I mean, I it's like you do the show because <clears> you want to <throat> promote something or you want to talk yeah. about something. Uh, you know, and and that show specifically was just people looking to say, oh, you said this and that was wrong or this, right, you know. Right, But so, no, I couldn't. That was kind of maybe the time I stopped giving a fuck. Yeah. When, when I went on that show, I was like, what the fuck? I don't give a shit. That, that, like, there, people are going to like you uh, or not like you anyway. Mm. So why are you sifting to find out who liked you? Yeah. They'll, you'll figure it out. You'll know. They'll buy your tickets to come see you live or support you or you'll grow in the community naturally like you guys have and yeah. then the rest is, is up to the fucking universe. Fuck you guys man. have done a good job growing. Uh, you know, you guys are people, I, I talk to a lot of other p comics who are, you know, I would say like a generation younger than me, you know, you guys and everyone liked you guys. Everyone respected oh, you guys. You. Everyone thought you guys were original and cool and so that's how you grow. And then you don't need to listen to other shit. Mm -hmm. Just listen to what you guys fucking put out and what you guys like, you know? No, it's true. Yeah, I, I think uh, at first it would like hit me like right in the gut, you know, of when you first start getting comments and stuff. But yeah, you, you sort of grow out of it where you just sort of like... Imagine listening to, to a band that you don't like just to say something mean to them. Yeah. Like, and that's it's weird. If you think about <laughs> who... so weird, dude. Yeah. And so it's like, who comments? You people know? That are, people that, that have some semblance of time... Commenting, I'm not. I don't have beef with because some people really want to like share a thought or a feeling or a, to connect with other people in the community. Right, that's right. cool. Yeah, but but that people that spend countless hours doing it. Louis just said a, a thing about this on Rogan about how he was like, you know, you have to. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck it up, but paraphrasing, he was basically saying like, this is this is to some people it's their whole world. Mm. So you can't get in that world. That's yeah. theirs. That's theirs. Yeah. That's theirs anyway. Like, you don't want to enter that fucking ring. That's nuts. Yeah. yeah. So why even focus or pay attention to it? Let people enact it on their own. It's like their little play. Yeah. And I'm, it, he said, like, it's just talk too. Like, it's, it's just, just talk. Sort of like, if you, it's like in a conversation. It's just like one. That's what I mean. It's just, just a, that's their own there. little fucking vacuum and let it exist. You know. Yeah. Like you guys kind of live in your own little vacuum. Totally. totally. Yeah. When you yeah. guys play together, when you guys are in sync, like, watch. I bet you guys are thinking right now. Of the same color on the count of three. One, two, three. Pink. Do you see? you see what I'm saying? Fuck, dude. Do you see what I'm saying? That was that was legit. Too. Yeah, I know what I'm doing over here, man. Dude, you're this isn't Jimmy good. Fallon, yeah. dude. This is the real deal, dude. You're yeah, a great totally. host. You're really fun. Thank you very <laughs> you much. You are really rock solid, dude. <laughs> Am I good? Dude? Yeah, no, you're, you're awesome. really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think what it is is I. I only put people on the show that I really want to talk to that I oh, like. Thanks, man. That's good, dude. Yeah, and I've been wanting to have you guys on for a while. I should. I wanted to come do yours. But dude, I'm not, no, over, I'm never going to do it. I'm never going to do it. No? Oh, really? No, I respect no, that, No, dude. no chance. Live no. your life, bro. In fact, I'll have you get back here before I'd ever do your show. I yeah. kind of dig that. Yeah. Because I, I, I want you here in my space. I trust you here. Yeah. I don't trust ATC. I can't go over there. I don't know what goes on. Do we do it out of my apartment? Oh, I'll come over. Yeah? Okay, that's fine. Come over a little early. Where's your apartment? Uh, West Hollywood. All right. So right here, guys, right down below is going to be his address. This is JT's address. We were going to put up a fake one, but that's cool. 
<laughs> dude, I want the crazies to come over. No, Bring dude, it on. No, you dude, don't. I want them, dude. Uh, put up a fake address, Joe, uh, and <laughs> slice that one out. That's genuinely your real address, isn't it? Yeah, it is, You're insane, dude. dude. You're a psychopath. <laughs> no, I want them over, dude. Watch this. This is the difference if you do. What's your address? Dude. Yeah, see? The stall. He, know. Yeah, he's never going to give that out. <laughs> yeah, What's I, the worst that could happen? <laughs> dude the best last words I hope they clip this show <laughs> on the news well I'm hammered now comedian too. stabbed to like death in his sleep got hammered. Yeah. what's the worst that could happen that clip just rotating yeah. over and over <laughs> yeah, what's the worst that could happen dude that, that reminds me of my favorite like dad joke is what were the snowboarders last words watch this oh <laughs> I was thinking about something deep. Oh, no, yeah, no. I thought it'd be something else too. <laughs> that's a good, yeah. that's a good it, simple, obvious, clean joke. But it's, it's straightforward. Here's, it. a good, here's a good. Here's yeah. a good. My dad told me. I said this at my dad at my parents' wedding when they got married. I was a little boy. My my stepdad. Oh, okay, copy. I said, uh, "Why did the turtle cross the road? Why to get to the shell station?" <laughs> You made that up as I a was kid? Six. Wow. Bro, dude. beast, bro. That's pretty dope. That's yeah. really good. I got signed. That's the night I got signed. Wow. Yeah, Missy CAA saw that? was like, who is this kid? Oh, CAA. No. Yeah, CAA. Shout out. Wow, dude. Dude, it's and, better getting in, into it early, too. Well, I got, <clears throat> it was bad, though. They, I got into, you know, here you I was, six years like old. Roland I come Emmerich. to Hollywood. I'm immediately famous. You guys know, you've seen my movies. Yeah. You know, you too. Redhead yeah. in the City. You've seen that one. I'm sure you guys saw Home Alone. Uh, Hotter Than Hot. Um, I was cut out of Home Alone. Oh, fuck. That's okay. But I'm sure you guys saw some of the stuff that I did. That's the biz. And then, here I am, nine years old. I'm killing it. I couldn't get more pussy and money. Mm. I'm addicted to cocaine. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm every single night, I'm at the Viper Room. And it's out of control. And so I had to go away for a while and mm. kind of come back clean on the other side. Mm. Did you find yourself? Like, where'd you go? When I left, when I, like, got yeah. sober and clean and left Livingston, the scene. Livingston, Montana? Dev, you, how do you know that? John Mayer, dude. Michael Keaton. They followed in my footsteps. Yeah. You were the first one. You, you were got the tip damn of the right, spear. dude. I was the tip of, I was the tip. I was the tip top. And everybody else kind of, what did you, you know, where did Lil Santino go? They used to call me Lil Santino. Mm. Where did he go? Yeah, they copied me, Livingston, Montana. Yeah. I was there for seven, eight years, something like that. Just getting your head right. Dude, you were so good and pay it forward. Connecting. Oh, thank you, dude. Yeah. Thank you very much. Dude, yeah. You know what I'm really good in? Hmm. The Orville. Have you ever seen that show? Yeah. No. Yeah, I killed that was it on you? that show. That is me. I'm on, that's wow. me. A lot of people are like, uh, that's not you. I'm like, well, you better fucking believe it is, buddy. Dude. The amount of people that tag me on that show, it's shock. It's that's very great. funny. The internet, <laughs> that's my favorite. Yeah. The internet's like, dude, you crush on Orville. It's just some other fucking dorky redheaded dude. <laughs> <laughs> was that like, for real? Yeah, there's another. There's a Reddit dude on Orville. People always tag me. And they confuse like, you for him? No, they. I, no, no, they're in on the joke. Hey, dude, they know I, it's not me. You're. I'm not even kissing ass, but like you're like a really good actor. Thank you. You can really act. I, well, not. I do okay. It's okay. It's not bad. Dude, there's you got some, some good scenes stuff and stuff where I'm in like, whoa. There's some. There's something deep down inside. I just did. A, I just did an indie movie and this guy, this actor, Clancy Brown. Yeah, great actor from Highlander and Whoa, Shawshank sick, Redemption. You know, yeah, he's amazing. Dude, he's a great fucking actor. We just, uh, we acted in this thing together and, and then someone made a joke about me, this friend, and he said, oh no, he's good. He's dark. Something inside is dark. I said, mm. oh yeah, thanks Clancy. Dude, that's a good compliment. <laughs> he's dark. That's sick. Well, because you got to have something brewing inside. You got to have something to make it real. Mm. You, the only way you can be a good actor and have nothing inside is if you play, you know, like the happy-go-lucky all the time. Mm. Right. You know what I mean? Like, this is no disrespect at all. At all. Say a name. But Cameron Diaz always kind of played happy-go-lucky. Yeah, mm. and, and when she was in Gangs of New York and she had to go a little bit deeper, it didn't quite work. Nah, it didn't work. Yeah, because no. it's not that dark, dude. She's mm. the, she's the, her life's been dope. She's a mega babe who grew up in Long Beach. Right? Long Beach? Yeah. yeah. Her and Snoop. With Snoop. Long Beach Polly, right? And like... Good football there. Gangster shit. Yeah, Dennis Wilson. Good. So here back. she is, a, a mega babe, Where super cool, lose. very smart, very nice and sweet. Not a lot of dark. You know what I respect about her, too? She had an MTV show about, like, it was, like, an eco show where they, like, hiked or something like that. Mm -hmm. And Ava Mendez was in it. And Ava Mendez farted, and they all laughed about it, and they kept it in the cut. That's, that's cool. That, <laughs> that is cool. Awesome. That is very cool. Also, right. shout out to Cameron Diaz for walking away from the business. That was the coolest thing. I, I Genuinely, I mean it. That was yeah. the coolest thing I think yeah. I've ever seen. She just stopped. Yeah, she's back. Did you see that? What? She's coming back? Dude, yeah. She's in a movie with Jamie Foxx or Kevin Hart. Oh, Same. that new, like, vampire movie that's on Netflix? I don't know. I don't know if Dave they... Dave Franco's in that. I saw his billboard. Yeah. So Are you guys gone. getting a big billboard somewhere? 
We're sunset. supposed to get sunset one. Sunset Times yeah. Square. Times Square. Yeah. Wait, and you're ha- you have a- one on Sunset right now? I think it's coming. I think August 27th. They sent us an email and they said it's coming. I hope yeah. so because your show's on right now. Yeah. Dude, yeah. you have a movie coming out, right? On Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah, the you movie? worked with Mark and Mark Wahlberg. Mark, your buddy Mark? Dude, yeah. Mark Wahlberg <laughs> and Kevin Hart. Yeah. Your homie Mark. How long have you guys been friends, you and Mark? <laughs> dude, I like He's that. He's my guy, bro. dude. Like are you that. are you you're a partner in Wahlburgers, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. no, we work out. And sometimes. his clothing company. We're yeah. we're big investors. We which go one, across what's the his clothing company called? I don't know, but I watched it's, it. I was on a plane and I watched his like Wahlberg reality show where he's like investing in shit. And yeah. he's got like a t shirt company and he's on What do top we think it's it. called? Just off um, the top. What's wall it called? shirts. Enforcers. Ooh, enforcers. I, what, um, he's you know, the 4 a.m. club. You know that, right? The 4 a.m. club. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, that's, that's it. He's the 4 a.m. club. Yeah, he he's up, up at early, 4. Dude. He prays, eats, works out, prays, works out, eats. Eats, works out, prays, and then, of course, ends it with pray, pray eat, workout. Whoa. So you acted with him? You guys were in a scene together? No. no. Him and Kevin. Uh, I was. We were, like, near each other. All my scenes were with Kevin. I just want to know how tall he is. Shorter than me. Shorter yeah. than I. Nice. I don't know how tall. I didn't... That was probably the one week I didn't have my measuring tape on me. I mean, I should have fucked it. Because usually I whip it right out. When I start working with somebody, I go, hey, man, what's up? They're like, hey, I'm Tim. Like, nice to meet you. Immediately, I want to know. Because some, of these, guys are, some of these guys are fake. Yeah. They're like, I'm 5'9". And you measure them, and you're like, you're 6'4". Right. Why are you fucking downplaying it? Interesting. And I'm Interesting. tired of that shit in Hollywood. Everyone's like, we're so tiny. Yeah. Ben Stiller? Ben Stiller's m- almost 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, dude, yeah, I, I know. I that. saw him. Huge. Like you play small forward for like the Lakers. Like, what's yep. going on here, dude? I know, dude. He's I like don't know six, why. six, two, thirty. They, and they always say, and they like pretending like, oh, he's a small guy. It's not true. Mm. It's just really strange that they do that. I like, think they're worried about like intimidating people. That could be part of it, but I guess intimidation comes more from your attitude. Yeah, it's you know? an energy thing. Like you guys have great energy. Oh, thanks. You know, like if I bump into you on the street, uh, like say hi to me. Hey, love it. Hi. See what I mean? I don't feel scared. Hi. I cultivate that. Yeah, I feel like I want you guys to help me out with whatever I'm up to. Dude, I'm all here for it. And would you help me, by the way? I do need to move. I sincerely... Tonight, I'm actually moving. Oh. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I got a thing, but I'm down. You'll help me, though? This will take us like 12 or 13 hours max. Oh, it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it's half a day. Can we kiss you afterwards? You better believe it. Wow. I want those lips on me. Have you been tested recently? Yeah, but I have herpes. You do? Like, genuinely. Mouth or, or body? A uh, genital. You do? Yeah. How many times do you get breakouts? Uh, like once a year. Is it bad? No, it's not bad. It what never it, bothered me much. What does it look like? It looks like like little volcanoes on your cock. Do you, and is it is it like a cluster? It's like a bunch come at once? No, it's not too bad. Is it ever just like one guy shows up? Sometimes. Just one dude? Yeah. And what do you do? You just let it go away? I just take some Valtrex. Do you remember the girl that gave it to you? I do. Can we say her name? No. Can we make up a name and pretend that that was her name? Yeah. Who gave it to you? Melissa, miss you. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. So you remember the moment that you got it? I do, yeah. Oh, bummer. It was tough for like 10 minutes and then I got over it. I remember he told me, he, you, you called me and you're like, because oh, everyone was like, no way, dude. Yeah. Because it's just so, no one talks about it, but it's yeah. so prevalent. Everyone has it, but nobody everyone talks has about it. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, dude, no, like, that's sort of like one of those things where you're like, that's just one of those things people say, but that doesn't actually happen. They had it. And we was like, has he ever showed it to you, his herb? Oh, big time. Yeah, when you were yeah. in a breakout. <laughs> Remember how itchy I was when we were in SF together? Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he showed me too, and I was like, I was like, dude, that's sick. I thought it was chicken pox. Oh, no. Yeah, no, but it's herpes. You don't have anything? <sighs> I'm trying to think. I don't think so. Fuck yeah, man. I mean, I had, I, I got, um, I got, uh, chlamydia in college. Nice. Nice. Yeah. It's kind of tight. Went to ASU. So you got, it's like kind of inaugural. You got to like get it once a year. Mm-hmm. You got to get something once a year to kind of keep partying. Yeah. Yeah. They, they ask at ASU. They're like, it's a have credit. you been infected yet? And you're like, I have. And you have to have show proof. It's kind of yeah. like vaxes now, you know? Like, yeah. are you boosted? It's like, have you gotten your... Your clap card? Yeah, have you gotten your clap card? Where'd you live freshman year? Did you live in that, like, Holiday Inn building that they had? <laughs> Do you remember that one? It was I like a know. converted Holiday Inn. I lived in PV, Maine is what it was called. Okay, I don't remember that one. But I used to visit there all the time. Why that would was, you like, go? It was just so fun. To party. Yeah, Mill, dude. Like, the whole scene there was Mill the Ave. best. Mill Ave, dude. Were you in a frat or anything like that? Uh, I, would, I, would, I would go to fraternities and sneak in. Uh, and I lived at one for... 
like six months or seven months. Alpha Psi, uh, Alpha Psi Seganega or Seniga? Alpha Psi Seniga? Is that one of them? I don't know. Yeah, I used to kill it over there. Nice. And no, I wasn't in a fraternity. I couldn't. I couldn't cut it. I yeah, didn't I want people to that. fuck with me. Yeah, I couldn't do that either. That's yeah. for me. I'm like, why do I have to be to be friends with you? I have to like do like humiliating shit and like let me in and on. let us become friends, and then then let's fuck with each yeah, other. Yeah, let me volunteer mm-hmm. for it. Right. Then I'm yeah. in. I'm the same way. Yeah, you weren't in a frat, were you? I was. Which one? Pike. Hold on. Pike? Yeah. Knew it. Okay, uh, but do I actually, I love, the, I, I have older brothers, so I love the hazing. You so did? I like, I was, yeah, I was like, bring it on. Oh, I that's love masochistic. That shit. That's gross. It, I'm very masochistic. So you get yeah. off on the pain. I love pain. So if like a, if like a significant other yells at you, like a girl that you're dating yells at you oh, and- it's my favorite. You love that shit. Oh, yeah. Fucking idiot. Oh. You small dick loser. Dude. Yeah. You're never going to come. Dude. Oh. See? Oh. Yeah, see, then you're not hard. Like that too. Oh. Yeah. You like that? Do you just have to be abused by I women? Like that too, yeah. That's kind of sick. But not by my partner. It has to be like. Oh, third party. No, like it has to be when I'm single and like a stranger. Are you guys both single right now? No. No, we're both. I just moved cool in with girlfriends. my lady. Yeah. Congrats. We moved in. Yeah, yeah. How's that going? It's great. Yeah. Uh, do I look, actually? I, yeah, I genuinely love it. Like we've been living together for three weeks. It's really, it's been fun. Oh, it's new. We grill every night. Every night. So far, yeah. Huh? Try and maintain that spark. Is that a reference to the grill? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys split the rent Kent right down the more, middle, baby. Uh, yeah. You do. Yeah. What about utils? Utils right down the middle. Right down the mid, dude. Yeah, yeah. So what are we talking? Uh, rent is two rent, G's. Two G's. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, a, uh, what's the cable? It's Direct more TV. Than that. <laughs> is it? How much is your rent? Twenty eight hundred. Twenty eight. Okay. One bed, one bath. <laughs> no, it's actually it's actually got two. I got a COVID price. Yeah, he's got a yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's dude, really that nice. negotiated. Our buddy Kevin Fard, who's who's in the show by the way. Bad last name. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> right. He, uh, he named his kid he, Harrison Fard, which I think is chill. Did. That's very cool. Yeah, he, cool. he's in the show. He, he's he's. I love him. He's like one of the funniest guys Shout out guys to Big ever. Farty. Yeah. Kevin. Uh, he's the schmoll in our He's the schmoll. Okay. And, uh, but he was like, he's a, he's a lawyer. And he's like, this is how you negotiate. He gave me the script. And I, was, I called the lady. I was like, I'm not, I've never negotiated in my life. And I was like, hey. She gave me, she's like, it's going to be like 3100 I'm like, hey, I'm going to take it for 26 You told her. I told her. Wow. And she's like, uh, then there's no deal. And I was like. In my mind, I was like, oh, fuck. And I was like, okay. And I just hung up. And then two days later, they called back, and they're like, we're going to do 28. I was like. That's tight. Yeah. That worked. It worked. Just you're, hang up. Just hang up. Yeah. Guys, if you're looking for a new place, just hang up. <laughs> what are you ripping over there? What kind of vape is that? Uh, Hype Bar. All right. What's the flavor? Uh, kiwi Strawberry. Good combo. Solid, dude. They're do, really do praying. They're really, no, no. God bless. They're really pl- preying on our youth. Kiwi strawberry is a big youthful combination. I know. That's the thing, right? Like, man- that- like, like I'm sure there's a fucking a mango strawberry. I'm sure they've got a pineapple's got to be a big hit. Yeah, they got this aloe flavor that's really dang. Aloe? Mm-hmm. Did they have a um, Kool Aid flavor? Like an original Kool Aid strawberry flavor? That's a good idea. I could be a vape dude. You I would have do so it, many dude. good fla- good vape flavors. Kool Aid. Uh, I'd uh, love to sell vapes to kids. Well, it'd be so easy. You just do the flavors of things like Dunkaroos. Is there a Dunkaroo vape? Oh, dude, there should be. Yeah, what, icing? icing. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Icing vape, Dunkaroo icing vape. What dude. about like um, uh, uh, French bread pizza, dude? You know what I mean? Stouffer's French bread oh. pizza. I would. T- that would be a great vape. Dude, French toast, pancakes, pancake vape, maple syrup, maple syrup vape, whipped cream, whipped cream vape, Skittles, Skittles vape, and your favorite kind of ice cream, McFlurry vape. McFlurry vape. What kind though? M M&M. and M's. You should make an M M&M and M vape. Dude, what's nice. your favorite internals for what's the the best insides of an M&M chocolate peanut peanut almond, butter peanut butter correct I think you know you're an adult when you transition from like regular M&M's to like peanut M&M's it kind of makes me sad because regular M&M's were tricking us for years to think that they were good and then finally you graduate and you're like fucking regular M&M's are bullshit I need more well they're bullshit because the colors don't taste different right so you're like so it's just little chocolate nuggets of nothingness have you heard this thing that all the Skittles flavors taste the same they do I that's, don't think that's, that's true. That's a placebo. I don't. I think the purples and reds taste different. I than went the other to a ones. Skittles factory, my friend. No, you did not. Yes, I did. I Which went to Skittles, Skittles factory. The one out in Brea. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it's so dope. And I went in and I said, I want to see the flavorings. And they, this, he was embarrassed. He's like, you caught me. It's just one vat of shit. It was one vat of flavors. Mm. Man. All right. So, what's your favorite candy? Oh, good question. 
Come on. I'm letting Chad go first. Okay. Um, dude, I mean, I have to be peanut butter M and M's of all time. I could eat those forever. Wow. I, I can't. Every time I get back, I can't stop. Can't what? Can't stop. I can't stop. Can't stop, stop. Won't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. What about you, babe? Flex bit. Uh, top three. I'll go Toblerone number one. Toblerone, nice. nice. Did I say it wrong? No, you said it the way you say it. For sure. And then uh, Lindor. Number Lindor two. chocolates, that yeah. trip is heavy over there. And then Ferraro Rocher, number three. Ferraro Rocher, man, you like fancy ass chocolate. My I guy. do love them, bro. Lint, nice. you know, lint chocolate, lint dark chocolate. No, lint, give me some lint dark chocolate. Is that the chocolate. flat one? Yeah, those are flatties. Yeah, yeah, where you break them into squares. Yeah, the lint dark chocolate with a little bit of orange in there. Woo, mm. see ya. Okay, and maybe a little, little fruit oh, flavor little, little, in there. Oh, whoa, and and just a little bit of nuts, like a just blah blah blah. You need just the a nuts, nuts in there. I love it. What's just your favorite C's? My favorite what? C's candy. <sighs> tough. That's Dude, actually real tough. I'm a Bordeaux guy. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah, big time. You know, C's candy is something very specific to California, too. I think a lot is of people really? don't know. Well, they're from here. Right. Culver City, shout out. Yeah. C's candy. But, I mean, I knew it's, it's, it's distributed everywhere, but it's very Southern California. Interesting. I didn't know that. Like, people know it, but not like the way we know it. Yeah. Right. And I didn't even grow up here, so. What's your take on Portillo's as a Chicago guy? Oh, good cue. What else? I mean, what do you, what, it, what like, that it's the like, greatest like, franchise that's ever been made? Yeah, right. That's what so we're I was asking. wondering if, like, if, like, to us, if we're, like, California guys and, like, we're like, hey, we love Portillo's, you're, like, you're a poser. No, no, no. God bless. If, you, if, you, if, you're, if you're on our team and you like it, I love you. I love it. What is Portillo's to, see, here, because, look, Portillo's Italian beef and Italian sausages mm. are by far the best. To me, for what it is. Can you get good Italian beef and sausages other places in Chicago? Sure. I'm saying for a franchise place, it's unbeatable. Mm-hmm. No one does what they do. They're right. the best. Yeah. What is that in California? In and out? In and out. It's gotta yeah. be. In and out's undefeated. Yeah. It's, it's not the best burger, but it's the best franchise burger. Good call. That's I, what it is. I think right? I'm gonna get that tonight. That sounds good, dude. Yeah, your symbol looks like In and Out. I'm surprised it didn't come at you guys. Yeah, we did that on purpose. We were kind of baiting them to sue us, and they never did. I don't think they'll sue you guys. Yeah, I think we're promo- we've are we been nonstop promoting them, so. What's your order in and out? Go. Uh, double, double, plain with cheese and spread only, then a regular cheeseburger, cheese and spread, but with the grilled onions, strawberry milkshake, and french fries. God, I love that. That is so clutch. What's go. up, dog? I'm going to go. <laughs> Dude, you want to fuck? <laughs> no, I'm talking to him. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 what's oh, up, dude. dog? Was that him? I'm sorry, yeah, bro. Yeah, heard it come no, out I mean, of me. I was like, heavy like that, dog. No, don't stack up. Don't stack up. No fighting on the show. Don't fight, dude. Bro, I'll never fight you, dog. Sorry, dude. We fight a lot. Um... So I'm going to go double-double with special sauce, and then I'm going to get pepperoncinis or the little yellow Ooh, motherfuckers. Love pepperoncinis. I, I, pepperoncinis, that's what yeah, they're called. Pepperoncinis. Do that. Uh, and then no onions, and then I'm going to get uh, fries well done, and then I'm going to get a strawberry shake too. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. I get, uh, I get a single single, no burger, uh, no cheese, no <laughs> lettuce, uh, grilled onions, uh, sauce on the side, Raw fries, and I get the powder from the shake. So Whoa. I say, can you just put a pow- put a cup of powder, shake powder? Wow, it's the most clutch order, dude. Everyone thinks I have the best in and out order. Mine is the most bomb by far. Is that, that's called the Irish, the Santino. You go there if you go. Give me the Santino. Right. They will literally. They'll go. This guy, dude. I'm down. I like aspire to have my own last name, like corresponding orders. So what's your last name? Par. Yeah, I, I guess the par is actually a really good, like, give me the par. It's a eight by eight, so no bun. You just get patties on patties. Tight. Stacked with double cheese in between. Mm. And then uh, a lot of uh, special sauce. A lot of special sauce. You know, legally, in and out has to uh, put whatever cheese you want on the burger, but you have to bring, if you bring your cheese to in and out this is real, bring, bring a cheese that you want, and they have to legally put it on the burger. I brought Manchango last week, and they Chango had good. to put it on. Mm. Hey, they were like, he knows the rules. Because you know That's there's so a secret good. menu. There's also like a secret forced menu where they must legally put on any cheese. It's like in their written rule book or something. Interesting. Is that because of that? like lactose? Like people's uh, different tolerances? I think it's just – I think the I think the guys who started it were just chill as fuck about cheese. And they were like, you got to let people choose their own cheese, bud. So many kinds of cheese. Right. Brie. Camembert. Go. Cheddar. Pepper Jack. Swiss. White cheddar. Sharp cheddar. American. Um, blue. Dingus. Goat. Um, goat. Oh, you just said goat. 
<laughs> no, I didn't. Sheep's milk. No, I didn't, dude. Sheep, what? Sheep's, sheep's milk. Sheep's milk cheese. I'm thinking of the one like uh, I don't know. Dude. Parmesan. Oh, oh mozzarella. Nice. Come on, Jeff. Oh God, damn it. See, you would have lost. Feta. There it is, dude. Can you imagine feta on In and Out? Woo! Give me some feta, dude. Give me well done feta fries, dude. What if they had feta fries? Greek and out, baby. <laughs> Greek and out, yeah, dog. Dude. All right, listen. I respect and love you guys. Love you I back. appreciate you coming on this show. How good was it? Dude, dude. I think it was really fun. It this was, was so very fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you guys came. I really want everyone at home to please watch their show. I've been a fan of you guys for a while, um, and I'm happy that you got what you deserve. Uh, please watch the show so they can get a second season on Netflix. It means a lot uh, to these guys because they're um, on their way up, up. And this is only the beginning. So please watch Chad and JT go deep mm-hmm. on Netflix. We look at that camera? Yeah, that's the camera. That's your camera right to the right. That's your camera. Thumbs way up. All right, so here. We end the episode the same way. You say one word or one phrase into that camera. Uh, and you don't have to say it at the same time because that unless you guys already have something loaded up. If something in your mind you're you ready? can say at the same time. Yeah, let's do it at the same so time. at the same time, you guys look at that camera. It's going to end the episode whenever you're ready. You guys go ahead. Three, two, one. Bottoms up. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.